Lines of symmetry in a square and a rectangle. In this module, you will learn to find by paper folding the lines of symmetry in a square and a rectangle. Recall that if you fold a figure in half so that its two parts coincide, The line of fold is the line of symmetry. Let us do an activity to find the lines of symmetry in a square and a rectangle. For the activity, we need two sheets of paper, a ruler, a pencil, a cutter and two sketch pens, red and blue. On the first sheet, draw a square. Use the blue pen to mark a pair of the squares opposite sides. Use the red pen to mark the other pair of its opposite sides. Use the cutter to cut the square from the sheet. Fold the square so that its blue sides go inside. The two parts of the square exactly overlap. Unfold the square. Draw a line on the crease. The line is the first line of symmetry in the square. Now fold the square so that its red sides coincide. The two parts of the square exactly overlap. Unfold the square. Draw a line on the crease. The line is the second line of symmetry in the square. Next, fold the square along one of its diagonals. The two parts of the square exactly coincide. Unfold the square.
Draw a line on the crease. The line is the third line of symmetry in the square. Now, fold the square along its remaining diagonal. The two parts of the square exactly coincide. Unfold the square. Draw a line on the crease. The line is the fourth line of symmetry in the square. No other folds are possible, so the two parts of the square overlap exactly. So, there are four lines of symmetry in the square. On the second sheet, draw a rectangle. Use the blue pen to mark one pair of its opposite sides. Use the red pen to mark the other pair of its opposite sides. Use the cutter to cut the rectangle from the sheet. Fold the rectangle so that its blue sides coincide. The two parts of the rectangle exactly coincide. Unfold the rectangle. Draw a line on the crease. The line is the first line of symmetry of the rectangle. Now fold the rectangle so that its red sides coincide. The two parts of the rectangle exactly overlap. Unfold the rectangle. Draw a line on the crease. The line is the second line of symmetry of the rectangle. No other folds are possible, so the two parts of the rectangle overlap exactly. So, there are two lines of symmetry in the rectangle. In this module, you have learned, a square has four lines of symmetry. A rectangle has two lines of symmetry.